What's going on YouTube? It's ODGC Exotics and today we're going to build a ARS 7030 rack. The heat panels. What's up Leroy? Big old strip. All the tubs. The tools. Literally cleared out the living room just to make this build. So it comes with a nice colorful manual, little instructions, instructions, everything it comes with, the 7030, 454 screws. So you're definitely gonna want a, a, a power drill for sure. Let's see, step number one, anybody that knows anytime you ever read instructions, you skip step number one. Count all parts to make sure nothing is missing. So once the first step is completed, you've counted all your parts. The next step is the base. Pretty simple. Nice little plastic pieces. Three-sided. Just slaps on for a stand. Just like so. Okay, the next step is to install the base caster plates. That's going to be where the casters go for the wheels. Put them in the corners. It's pretty simple. It's got six screws. You just screw them all in. Next step is the casters. Make sure they're all lined up the same. Front to back. Front to back. They even gave me an extra screw and a bolt. Next step, you got 20 of these slide pieces that you gotta screw to the frame. Now that all the single glides are set attached to the side tubes, the next step is to place stoppers, three on each one of these tubes. That's gonna be 90 total. 270 screws. So you're going to wind up with 10 with the stoppers on one side and 10 with the stoppers on two sides. Well, we're about halfway through the screws, 400 and whatever number that was, and we're on the next step. Let's... So now you're going to build each level. Two or well, one front, one back with the two stops, and then two of the sides, and you have four corners that piece together. Next step is installing the double slide guardrails. There's one there, and then another one goes there, and you can start to see how the tubs are going to slide now. Because that's a level, there'll be three tubs in there. Little partner in crime still sleeping on the job. But the next step is the legs. So, leg, 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 leg. And then that level that we just built will go on top of that. Next thing you do is you slide all these panels in. They just lock into place. And the instructions actually say to go ahead and build all 10 levels and then place the heat tape, but or the heat panels. I think I'm gonna go ahead and place the heat, uh, heat panels while I'm building each level because I think it'll be a lot easier than doing it after the whole thing is built. It was a late night last night. Started building this rack about five, went to about 11.30. Uh, didn't work on it the whole time, obviously, but I yeah, probably put in about three hours worth of total work during that. So what we did was went ahead and built all the levels 
there's the heat that goes on the levels. Only thing left to do is stack the levels and insert the heat panels. Two layers of the heat panels are installed. And just work your way up level by level until you get all the levels built. Well, it's all done. Give you an idea of what it looks like. Not too shabby, huh? You, you, you. Now, whenever you're going through and um, putting on the levels with the heat mat, it's a good idea to go ahead and decide which side you're going to want the power strip on. I went ahead and plugged it in. That way it can heat up and I can test all the uh, heat panels just to make sure that they're all working right. Next step is to move it to its final destination and fill it full of snakes.